All right, so today I shot the Revly Peak uh, PRS match. It was an extremely fun match. Uh, the video on that is coming soon. I'm gonna cover both days and uh, I shot footage on every stage. So the plan is to kind of bring you guys with me so that you guys can see what to expect and uh, also how fun it can be. <laughs> it's also frustrating at times, but uh, that's part of it, right? So. I did not stay for the award ceremony. I had to go because I have to go to work tomorrow like everybody else and uh, I had to come and hook up that trailer. Okay, so I needed to go. I wanted to stay for the award ceremony. That's one thing that I always try to do because I want to stay there and uh, uh, you know, congratulate the winners. That's something that everybody should do. One day you're going to win and you're going to want people to do that for you. So. You should do it for others. However, today I just could not do it. So uh, anyway, that's kind of my take on that. So um, I know everybody's kind of asked, so I'm gonna show you the rifle that I was shooting. So my rifle is chambered in 6x47 Lapua. It has a 26 inch barrel. It has This is a uh, Brooks MTU Contour. It has a uh, easy tuner and a Pierce uh, 5 port muscle brake, the self timing one. It has a, uh, I'll show you what this is. I'll leave it here so I don't forget. <laughs> it has a Collis 5 to 25 uh, scope with a skimmer three reticle but i've been really looking at the skimmer 4 i really like it uh, this is a uh, mill uh, scope first focal plane uh, i also have a wee bed cheek rest on it this uh, really makes everything more comfortable uh, this is an mpa competition chassis and uh, that's the when i first built my first uh, prs rifle which is this one right here um, it is, uh, I, you know, I don't like changing uh, things, so the chassis worked, so I stuck with it, and now I have two others. So it works well. My uh, bipod is an, I think that's an Atlas. I don't know which version, to be honest with you. Uh, there's so many out there, and when I bought it, I asked some of the other competitors uh, what they would recommend. They recommended this one. So I bought it, but I don't remember which one it is. My chassis has the uh, weight system, only in the foreign. I don't have any weights out here, but uh, it's pretty heavy. Uh, it has the Gray Ops uh, thumb wrist uh, thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but uh, anyway, this allows you to to grab it, you know, and and kind of put your thumb on here. Somebody suggested I should turn it around so that I have that grip on here, and I'm gonna try that. I haven't done that. Uh, the action is a Borden Mountaineer and uh, it's a very good action I love that action uh, Borden if anyone doesn't know uh, they pretty much dominate F-Class and uh, I mean this thing is just completely smooth I love it so this is what I run uh, Borden Mountaineer and uh, the trigger is a Trigger Tech uh, diamond with a flat blade other than that that's pretty much the whole package pretty simple I guess I don't know how simple it is but that's what I run now this tape right here <laughs> uh, you'll see that a lot of competitors run kind of their dope they put it right here on the side um, their uh, all their holdovers and things of that nature uh, I'm not very good with that <laughs> I've never been so what I do is I put a piece of tape on the on the reticle and I mark, I put a line where my uh, holdover, or not my holdover, but my dope needs to be that I'm going to dial. So as you can see here, uh, this one was at 3.5 and 3.9. So when we're doing multiple uh, targets, I'll start at, for example, I'll show you. For example, if I got to go to the first one, you know, I'll start there, right? And as I'm shooting, when I need to go to the next one, I just go to the next line. I don't have to think about anything. I just reach down, go to the next line, and I'm there. Uh, I try to simplify everything, and this works really well. When I'm done, 
with that stage peel off the tape and I'm done if I'm gonna do another stage then I just get another piece of tape and mark it all up if even uh, uh, especially if we have multiple stages like sometimes they make you do troop lines where you have like five different targets I just put a piece of tape and put a line on all the all the ones that I'm gonna that I need where I need to dial then I just go from mark to mark I don't have to look I don't have to worry about it getting getting bumped I don't have to worry about anything so uh, again this works for me do what works for you uh, another thing that some of you have noticed is this uh, this uh, this is a uh, Mirage uh, reducer not a reducer uh, this is from creative solutions I forget what they call this thing but the whole point of this thing is to reduce or give you greater depth of field okay uh, the scope will be in focus for a longer distance so for example as you guys know sometimes you dial I don't know you get on the stage and you're starting at I don't know 300 yards and you dial your focus for 300 yards and then when you get out to uh, I don't know 700 now it's blurry you have to adjust it well this gives you greater depth of field so what it does is it allows more to be in focus so that keeps me from having to uh, to mess with my uh, focus while I'm shooting okay the other thing that it does is on a really bright day it lets in less light and if it's uh, early morning which we never shoot in early morning uh, but if we did I could just simply pull it off and then I get more light but uh, those work really well they're from creative solutions and I use them in my F-class rifles a lot because in F-class I try to read actually I don't I actually I don't try I do <laughs> I read my Mirage with my scope so I like to have it on there because then I can read more Mirage in the sense of a larger area because more of it is in focus so that's where that comes in handy uh, another thing I did not mention is the MPA uh, one piece uh, scope mount and rings this thing works pretty well I like it and uh, what else I have the bag rider and uh, that's pretty much it the comp chassis has a built-in level which is extremely extremely important for long-range shooting but uh, other than that pretty pretty simple setup my uh, 6 by 47 chamber dimensions I have a 275 neck which is very important so that you don't have a finicky 47 uh, when I first decided to go with a 6x47 I had a lot of people tell me that not to do it they're finicky and uh, I was gonna have issues I looked at the reamer print that it's kind of floating around and I realized that the neck is too tight it's like a 272 or 273 neck which obviously is way too tight because the loaded round is 270 so I ordered one with a 275 neck I like between five to six thousandths of clearance and then I also increase my freeboard to 150 thousandths so the freeboard is 150 thousandths and my uh, neck is 275 so technically mine is not a 6x47 mine is technically a 6x6.5x47 by by Lapua the 6x47 has different body dimensions I don't know why <laughs> but whenever I saw that on the print I said don't just give it to me exactly like a 6 5 by 47 with a smaller neck so like I said this one is technically a 6 by 6 5 by 47 and I use a 6 uh, 0 0.5 by 47 Lapua die I just changed the bushing because why not I already had the dice and it works perfect so anyway that's my uh, my setup that I ran this weekend it ran great um, I did really good on the on the prone stuff uh, the long range I think they had a thousand eighty yard uh, stage and I cleaned that so I'm pretty happy with the performance of the rifle um, it just it just hammers and you guys saw the 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 uh, how I tuned it I, I, I didn't have time so I just all I did was adjust the tuner and uh, here it is it's on setting number two like I said, the video will be coming out. I'm gonna do a two part. I'm gonna do part uh, day one and then day two. And uh, we'll see how that turns out because I shot a lot of footage, but it was, as you guys can imagine, I, I was trying to fill you guys in between stages, but as you can imagine how hard that is when I'm trying to get ready for 
to go shoot or I'm a lot of times I'm spotting for somebody or I'm helping them pick up brass so there's a lot going on but uh, I did what I could <laughs> we'll see how it looks anyway um, I'm gonna pull that trailer home and unload all my stuff I gotta clean my rifle um, there's just so much to do because I gotta get ready for tomorrow and uh, the work week starts and also I need to get ready for F-Class Nationals. F-Class Nationals are coming up in about three weeks. So that gives me about two weeks. So we're gonna clean this rifle up and we're probably gonna put it away and start focusing on F-Class for the next month or so. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> busy times. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Give this video a thumbs up and all my videos, please. That really helps. And I will see you guys next time. I hope all your groups are one whole. See ya.